part of the Great Books on Video series. MGM UA embossed in there. And it's a former rental. From Critics' Choice in Tucson, Arizona. Corner on Scotch T50. Print date of September 23rd, 1986. No print date or anything on this. Also checked the vertical blanking interval to see what there was and there was nothing. It's almost like a homemade end label on there. And this is also a former rental, from the looks of it. There's a print date of December 22nd, 1989. I mean, but it still has the white screen death at the end. And one of those BHCP codes. So I can tell this was probably just a shell swap. Yeah, the the thing in question said BHCP25, as I did check the tape. I'll show that in a future volume of vertical blanking interval tags from my VHS collection. That is when I find more. I'm just trying to peel off the end label to see if there's any more to this print date.
Yeah, I don't even see a week in your code on this. So it might just be a shell swap. But here's the here's what I found in terms of full information. I'm not sure if you can see it. I checked this and there was nothing in the vertical blinking interval. I didn't even see any printings of any kind outside of the end label. So, I want to see if I can peel it off easily. See if there's anything under it. That might be worth looking at. Okay, so far I'm not really seeing anything. I'll just pass. But here's something interesting. A Blockbuster Hot Picks video magazine. A division of Good News Video Network. August 26, 1993. When I checked this, there was nothing in the vertical blanking interval on this type, sadly. But, that's okay. I'll probably upload this at some point. So when I don't get in trouble with the copyright lords. I'm talking about the hot picks type. No print date or and, and no printings of any kind either.
made in Canada. Um, August 30th, 1998, WC, I think that's what it says. It was originally purchased from another rental store on July 15, 2002. But, but before it ended up at this other place, it was originally from Hollywood Video. And chances are, if I peel off the Hollywood Video label, then the print date might possibly just end up getting ruined. But I could try, though. I can't guarantee it's going to be full. I can't guarantee it, but I'll try. I'll try to reveal it as best as possible. Yeah, I kind of had a feeling it was going to be ruined. Yeah. Part dates ruined. I tried. Like I said, I told you I couldn't guarantee it was going to be there in full. Someone purchased this from another place on June 25th, 2002 for $4.99. And I got this for a buck at Goodwill. And it's a Canadian copy. March 23rd, 1999. BT. I also have the Canadian French VHS of this film as well. And... And I did look under the dark sticker label on this, and from the looks of it, looks like it was recycled from gargoyles. Gargoyles the movie! That is. See if we can see that. Okay, June 25th, 1999, number 0D. At 
270 BC. That's what the printings on this say. Oh! I didn't even see this sticker on here. It says 1M3265. I got this because it's a little bit of a later print. From October 1st, 2001 to November 3rd, 2001. Number 3. October 16, 2001 and number 9. Never heard of this until I found it. Black Reels. How about that? No print date. Learn to move from the MTV videos. Number 64, 22nd week of 2002. The previous owner got this somewhere for seven bucks, so I got this for three dollars at Goodwill. This has the shows with Elton John, Julie Andrews, and Gene Kelly. Look for the family-friendly version of Super Size Me in the near future. <laughs> for more information, visit heartsharpvideo.com. Remember, I also have the VHS of this film as well.